A rare glimpse inside Putin's secret train. With leaked documents shown to CNN. <laughs> revealing how the Kremlin leader travels amid increasingly tight security and luxury. He's surrounded by enemies. And he, psychologically, he wants to feel protected. From outside, train number one, as it's dubbed in Russia, seems ordinary. It's heavenly armoured carriages purposely disguised with regular Russian railways paintwork and grime. State media was once allowed inside, recording President Putin meeting transport officials in a sumptuous boardroom. The train's other 20 or so carriages, some updated as recently as last year, have remained a closely guarded secret until now. Zircon Service is a Russian company that builds what it calls elite wagons for its clients, specializing in luxury designs for private and state corporations, and of course, the Kremlin. Among a trove of documents, including blueprints, letters and images, obtained exclusively by the Russian investigative dossier center and shared with CNN, is one from Zircon Service dated August 2018, notifying the Kremlin of a test run for what it calls the sports health wagon that's been ordered. Accompanying photos show what the dossier center says is Putin's private gym on board the train. As recently as last year, the Kremlin was looking to upgrade the gym with American equipment to replace the Italian machines originally installed. A former member of Putin's personal protection service who says he fitted the train's secure communications equipment before defecting from Russia, told the dossier centre the Kremlin leader started travelling by train more regularly in the build-up to the invasion of Ukraine last year. But discretion for the Russian president doesn't mean discomfort. Leaked plans for the train also show a luxurious spa on board, including a Turkish steam bath. And according to the dossier centre, a fully equipped cosmetology suite with a massage table and high-end beauty equipment. Now, the Kremlin disputes the dossier centre's findings, telling CNN that President Putin neither owns nor uses a railway car like the one described. But in the aftermath of a recent armed rebellion here in Russia, in which Putin's authority was threatened, the focus on his isolated existence is higher than ever. And the idea of Putin being pampered as he travels incognito by armoured train underlines how strangely cloistered the Kremlin leader has become, even paranoid and besieged, according to his former speechwriter. Why is it, do you think, that Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin has spent such large sums of money planning and constructing this armoured presidential train? He's losing the war, he's losing politics, losing popularity, he's getting more and more enemies, committing more and more crimes. He cannot build political walls, so if he, if he wants to build the, like, the walls of concrete and armour, uh, physical defence. There are signs that's an image the Kremlin knows it should shed. In recent weeks have seen Putin more publicly engaged than he has been for years. But in his increasingly hostile world, the security and luxury of train number one may be sanctuary indeed. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.